Today, I'm going to conclude SCP Week with a very interesting idea. So SCP Container Breach is now 5 years old, and for all those who don't know, it's based off trying to escape this underground facility with no resources, except for yourself and a few insanely creepy monsters. And it's possibly so successful because of the concept of making it out that it brings to the table. And the game itself started out with no ending at all, just a never-ending loop of differently occurring hallways that you could travel down pretty much forever until you inevitably perish. Only in the recent versions of the game has the idea of actually being able to escape spawned. But not really. Well yes, you were able to make it out through gate B since version 0.5 and watch 106 get wrecked at gate A since V0.7. But is it really escaping to make it out only to die a terrible fate? It's one of the most unsatisfying moments of the entire game in many people's opinion. We all went from excitedly trying to make it out since it was implemented into the actual game to... Okay, that's it? I just die? Wow, I just went through all of that and I'm killed. Wonderful. Both of these unsatisfying endings available in the game have led up to a new concept entirely. What if the character actually made it out? Could it be possible to make it out scot-free? And is there already a way to do so in the game? Well, to answer that question bluntly, no. There is no way. As of late, there is no way of truly escaping the SCP facility in the game, and also many developers have stated that there probably wasn't going to be any future plans to make one. This just doesn't really add up, does it? You're telling me that there's this really awesome game, great graphics, great concept, great layout, great... Uh, actually, well, the engine needs a little bit of work, but aside from that, an amazing game, and there's simply no way to complete it? Not a single slice of hope, no piece of freedom, no true ending? And the weird thing is, out of all the motivated modders and coders there are out there, not one mod has been released to even remotely simulate getting out alive. The game seems to be almost perfect in every aspect aside from your basic memory access violations, except for the unbelievably frustrating endings. It's almost like it was a tease that's made to somewhat troll noobs who are new to the game who think they could actually escape. And I'll tell you myself, when I first made it to the end trying to look through that fence to see what was beyond, only to find that it was simply nothing after no clipping through, it was pretty damn frustrating. Like something that was missing or supposed to be there waiting for me. So now I would like to make a somewhat formal proposal to Regalis and the crazy talented developers of SCP Containment Breach. Okay, I know I come off as that one guy who wants something new to happen in the game and then all of a sudden it happens. This is something that the community has wanted for a very long time, many years. And the concept of a gate C type of ending is not far-fetched, let alone is it impossible. Making a new ending could even be just a different sequence of events taking place at an already made exit. Giving the player certain circumstances to make it alive. Alright, whatever, let me just get to my idea. <clears throat> so don't laugh. Okay, you could laugh, I don't actually care. So I want to call this ending, Gate Sithat. Skirt skirt onto that armored truck. So it starts at gate B and the player needs to contain SCP-682 for this ending to happen. And yes, I know what you're thinking, 682 may not be in the game, but the chamber of 682, aka the blast door to it, which is basically the place where 682 would be contained in a crap ton of acid, is located in the big three-story compartment where we find SCP-682 object paper. And in order to contain 682, the player will have to undergo various procedures, somewhat like in the actual game called 682, but with less detail. Then, once the player does everything that's already required to exit through gate B, aka go through 079 and the electrical center and whatnot, the following things will happen. Oh, also, I should probably already mention the uh, the obvious, make sure you turn off the nukes and stuff, and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, if you do all that, instead of the whole 6A2 is escaping party, the player meets a squad of the Chaos Squad, making their way into the gate to secure 6A2 and any other SCPs that have escaped on armored vans. If the player observes this, from the top of the walkway, so you will need to have some stealth skills in hiding in order to escape their view. And if you're successful at hiding yourself, you will notice that there is one truck that is parked outside the gate that is unattended. And during this time, the player will be given a set amount of time to get to the back of the armored vehicle and make it on before the Chaos Insurgy return. The Chaos Insurgy will return along with a few NTF units with a highly damaged and chained up SCP-682. They will have 682 on a large gurney and proceed to load it onto the back of the truck that you're on. I know, Convenient, right? Uh, and then you'll feel the truck slowly move away while you're still in the back of it. It's gonna be very dark. 
and you're also going to be there in the same room as the extremely sedated 682, and the game will then cut to black for a few seconds afterwards. The final scene will be of the player making his way through the dense piece of wilderness as the ground shakes and you can hear a bunch of roaring sounds coming from the background. If the player looks back uphill from the place he came from, he will see that the truck had been left completely empty along with all the guards killed and half eaten. Large gashes on the truck and huge footprints in the opposite side of the trail that you're on, implying that 682 had escaped. The player will then proceed a little bit further into the wilderness, downhill until the game is once again cut to black. And then this will be the final end screen. Please take this video into consideration because I'm sure the game will need a solid new engine for it to operate smoothly in the future, and this new ending would be a perfect start to that. So even if we could get something even slightly around these lines, as a third ending, where you actually make it out alive, it would be a great improvement to the game. And I hope to reach out to some of the game developers about this truly, because you people are absolutely amazing at developing games, and you're more incapable of creating something like this, uh, maybe even far better. Either way, I would like to say to everyone, thank you so much for watching this. It's been a great week here on the channel, and I wish to do something like this again soon in the future. And also, any suggestions in the comments would work too. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.